All right, in this section, we're going to cover split testing and optimization of your campaigns. Uh, split testing and optimization of your campaigns is absolutely key to success. You uh, have to constantly test to get optimal performance. Um, I really have to stress that. Um, and I have to stress that you should not assume anything, that you should not assume that one ad format will beat another ad format. You should not assume that one image will beat another image or that uh, copy written a certain way will perform outperform copy written another way. I, I try to assume all the time that I don't know anything absolutely when it comes to, to running these ads and getting the best performance. I try and apply what I believe are best practices, but then I always test to make sure um, that I am running the campaign that is going to get me the absolute best results. So the great thing is, is that testing uh, on the Facebook ad platform is really, really easy. Um, and uh, Facebook does uh, a great job of helping to facilitate that process and, and optimize your campaigns for you um, based on the data that it's seeing um, in, inside of your ad campaign. So there's no reason not to test, make sure that you're doing it all the time. Um, and I just want to show you some examples of some split tests that I've done recently that you know maybe are a little bit surprising or counterintuitive. So you can see here, this is a split test of some text. You can see here, just pay shipping, now as low as $3.57. Here was just pay shipping, now as low as $3.57, free 72-page guide to X included. I would personally think that, you know, by having a free thing included and making that part of the appeal, that I would get a higher click-through rate on this ad. You can see it's not even close. 0.418% click-through rate versus 0.183. Um, not, even, not even close. And you can see, look how this impacts. One of my cost per click, this has just under a 50 cent cost per click. This is $1.13. And you can see my cost per conversion here, $2.74 versus $9.08. So, you know, this is a winning campaign for me uh, by a long shot. This campaign is barely break even for me. So this one, I'm turning great profit. This one, I'm barely breaking even just because people are responding to this headline differently than this headline. Um, and I would not have guessed that. Um, and I cannot tell you exactly the reason why. We can make all kinds of arguments. Well, oh, this, this text is shorter. So it's easier to, you know, just get, get the core message out of it. Well, that may or may not be the case. Um, I encourage you to test all the time because I find very few absolutes when it comes to online marketing. Um, this one is two different images. Um, and just for privacy reasons, I'm not gonna show you the exact details of the image, but I can tell you that this was an image where I think looking at the images, you go, oh, this one is much more eye-catching, much more interesting, good use of colors, okay, things like that. Um, I would have thought that this image would probably do much better than this image. As you can see, that's not the case. 0.121% uh, click-through rate versus 0 0.058. These are on uh, right-hand column ads. Um, so this is a real nice attractive click-through rate for a right-hand column ad. But you can see my cost per click is half as much on this one. Um, my conversion rate is higher. My cost per conversion, you know, dramatically lower. Um, so again, I would have thought this would have been the image that would have won. Not the case. Um, split testing by age is critical, okay? Not all age groups are going to perform the same way, are going to respond the same way to your ad campaigns. Uh, you can see here 40 to 44 versus 60 to 65. And look at the difference. Um, here... I have actually a higher click-through rate, and this is interesting to determine what is the ultimate objective of your campaign, right? So my ultimate objective in this campaign is return on investment. Well, here I've got more clicks, higher click-through rate, um, but look at my conversion rate, one versus the other, 5.263 versus 40%. Now this is on a real small sample size, um, but um, you will see campaigns again where the point being that uh, depending on the age group, you will get dramatically different ROI from one versus the other. Um, and ultimately, that's the measure that I'm looking for. So if I look down here on this, I spent $17.22. only got $14 in my main revenue objective out of it. Here I spent $12 and got $0.76. Cents. Um, I mean, $76 in return from it. So my ROI dramatically higher on this age group, um, even though some of the other factors were not as uh, as high performance as over here. So ROI, in our case, in this, this ad was ultimately what we're looking for. So make sure that you're looking at the metrics that are most important to you. Um, if you are testing images and you're testing copy and you're testing different age groups, the cumulative effect of these tests will make a loser a winner. And it can absolutely take your ROI through the roof, which what's really important with that, in addition to obviously just making more money, is that it's allowing you to invest even more into your advertising. If you're looking at this um, on a real competitive level, okay, if you're looking at this as to how do I compete and beat my competition that's going after the same market, well, ideally, you would be able to spend more to reach that same audience and get them to convert. Well, the way that you can spend more is if your campaigns are making more and more profitability for you, right? Because you can just turn around and invest more of that profitability into your campaigns. So by doing these split tests, you can take a, an ad that is losing money, a campaign that's losing money and turn it into a winner. You can take a campaign that's slightly profitable and turn it into really profitable. Um, so you should always, always be split testing um, and just focus on the major things that can impact your campaign, okay? Major things being the image, the copy, the offer that you're making, you know, is it 10% off or 25% off, that type of thing, um, the age group that you're targeting, um, the male or female, right, 
uh, as well as the major interests that you're targeting, the major interest categories that you're targeting with your audience as well. Um, all of those things can be split tested very easily inside of the Facebook ad platform, and you should always launch your ad campaigns with some sort of split test um, so that you are getting that data and you're making sure that you're running the most competitive campaigns that you can run.